Illustrator gives us a variety of ways to share a design by printing, making a PDF, optimizing for a website, and more. To give you an idea of the types of formats we can choose and why, in this video, I'd like to take you through how to save your logo in some common formats. The Illustrator file, sideslicepizzalogo.ai, we saved early on in this tutorial, is what's called a native file format. The AI stands for Adobe Illustrator. This format will preserve all of the layered content, effects, type, pretty much everything we did, so we can always go back and make changes. When creating artwork like you did, it's really important to preserve this master of the logo. To save the logo so that we can add it to other documents within Illustrator, or others like InDesign and Photoshop, you can add it to a Creative Cloud library. In the Libraries panel on the right, make sure the Side Slice Pizza logo library is chosen. If you don't have this library we created earlier, you can choose your own or simply use My Library. With the selection tool selected, drag the logo into the Libraries panel. When you see a plus appear, release. The artwork is now saved in the library. Double-click the name at the bottom of the thumbnail and type Side Slice Logo. Press Enter or Return. We'll create a new document so that we can put the logo into it. That way we can discuss saving a PDF file in a document with just the logo in it. Choose File, New. In the New Document dialog box, change the name to Pizza Logo. Make sure that the print preset is chosen. Click OK to open a new document. Now we'll save it. Choose File, Save. Save it to your hard drive, then click to save it. Click OK in this dialog box. Come to the Libraries panel and drag the Side Slice logo into the document. This artwork is linked to the library item, which means if you edit the library item, the logo you see in the document will be updated. In order to hand this file off for review to someone who doesn't have Illustrator or send the design to a print provider, you could save your artwork as a PDF. To do this, choose File, Save As. Choose PDF, and make sure you're saving it somewhere you can later find it, like your desktop. Click to save it. In the Save Adobe PDF dialog box, leave this settings at their defaults, unless you're sending the file to a print provider who specifies other settings. Click Save PDF. This PDF copy of the file can be opened using a PDF reader like the free Adobe Reader. If the file is open in Illustrator, its layers will still be available. If you need to output the entire design or parts of the artwork in the design for use online or in a presentation, you can export that content in a variety of formats. Choose File, Save for Web. Click the Two Up tab up here if necessary to show the original artwork and what we will save it as. Deselect Clip to Artboard if you need to, so the image will only include the artwork, not the blank artboard around it. Choose Ping 24 from this menu if it's not already selected to save it as a ping. Click Save, and then click Save again. With the logo saved in the library, we can also add it to other projects we're working on. And since it's vector, we can scale it as much as we need. Next, we'll take a look at what the logo might look like in different projects, like a business card and a t-shirt template. Know that the business card and t-shirt artwork is only a mock-up and not intended to be printed as is. Choose File, Open. Select the two sample assets.ai file here and click Open. All of the artwork in this file was created using the tools you've learned so far in this tutorial. Choose View, Fit All in Window to see all of the artboards in the document. Drag the logo from the Libraries panel onto the business card artwork. Then drag the logo from the Libraries panel onto the t-shirt shape. Because the artwork in the logo is vector, you can resize it and know that it will print properly. Shift drag the corner of the selected logo to resize it to better fit. Release the mouse button and then the shift key. Try also resizing the other logo. In this tutorial, we've created a logo for a pizzeria. And I don't know about you, but I'm hungry for pizza, so I guess it's working. Let me open a few more logos to inspire you. These logos were created using the same method you just learned. 
creating artwork in Illustrator can be really fun. Learning the basics of the program is enough to get you on your way, but this is only the tip of the iceberg when it comes to the creative power of Illustrator.